Hello friends, it is Danny. Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing a bullet journaling video and it is my May plan with me. Before we get into my book, I figured I would quickly show you this container thing that was sitting under my bullet journal. I'm leaving my bullet journal on here so that it will stay focused, but underneath here is a giant container that you just saw the inside to a little bit. And that is my new bullet journal supplies bin. I'm not sure of the exact dimensions of this bin, Hold on, I have a sewing kit right here. Allow me to just check it out. A few moments later. It's 14 by 11 and I have kind of MacGyvered something out of it. So the edges are all lined and the inside are all lined with cloud fabric that I had laying around my house. And I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see I have put in three cardboard inserts. I literally got this from my dollar store in hopes that I could keep all of my markers semi-organized. Wanted a bigger storage space for my markers now that I had the mild liners because I had too small of a container to hold all of these markers. On this far end over here we have my Staedtler Fine Liner Tri Plus markers as well as all of my rainbow washi tape. This one I have my Studio fine liners both in this tiny size even though it's bigger than these ones So they're two different types, but they're by the same company as well as all of my assorted washi tape over here I have my new Zebra mild liner duo tip tent pens. I have a whiteout Correction tape thing here my permanent adhesive tape runners here as well as this space for my Tombows although I carry six of my Tombows with me at all times so these are just kind of the leftovers as well as like scissors and my stencil things. Literally all I did to make this was buy the container, use some of my scrap fabric and hot glue everything on slash in including the extra pieces of cardboard that I had. I am very happy with how this turned out and now I have some more room for some more markers. I might even look at making a secondary layer because it is deeper than I expected and that would give me another layer to do more. I just have to figure out how to make a secondary layer for this. So maybe once I figure that out, if you guys are interested in that, I could do a video showing you how I did that. Now to get on with the spreads for May, I'm gonna do a quick flip through of April. This here is my tracker. I literally have two more days to fill in. So those are why those are not filled in yet. I only have one more space to fill in for my mood tracker. So I'm very happy with how this mood tracker turned out. I really like the circular layout, but at the same time it made it difficult to color in even spots because I found myself to go over those spots, especially when it came to like the blues beside a pink. Um, this one I actually messed up and had to white out and then it smudged over here. This is my sleep tracker. For the month, I haven't connected the final few dots, nor have I filled in the last two. That will be completed tomorrow. I have fallen a little bit behind in my Camp Nano tracker. I have caught up technically to the amount that I have written thus far on the 29th of April. I am almost at 14,000 and so I'm a little bit behind because tomorrow by midnight or 11:59, I'm supposed to be at 15k but this page will be finished tomorrow and maybe I will show it again in my June plan with me if you guys are interested in seeing it to see if I completed it. I'm covering up my work schedule but this is my finished packing list. I obviously have already made the trip to Cape Breton and back. This actually really helped me pack for said trip, so I will definitely be doing this again in June for BookCon. And then these are just my four weeklies that I have. Um, this is where we are currently, right here on the 29th on the Sunday. This last page is a contact tracker, so it tracks every single day that I've worn my contacts because after 30 days or 30 uses, I have to change out for a new pack and I needed somewhere to track that. I would definitely make it a lot nicer. This was just an impromptu spread. And this is a page that held all of the questions that I asked while interviewing Hadley Dyer. And this was the picture that I took with her while there. I used my HP sprocket to print that out. And then I just peeled off the back because it is a sticker paper 
and put it in here. So that brings us to the end where we come to May's start of spreads. This last page here was the notes that I took at Frenzy Presents about the different arcs that I heard about and the different arcs that I wanted. I have strayed away from my normal title pages that always usually say, hello, whatever month. Took the most opportune time to change it up and use the it's gonna be May for my May title page. And the theme for my May pages, greenery, shrubbery, succulents, etc. Um, this page was probably the most extensive except for my weeklies that I had to do because I had to draw out the shelf but there are just five little plants here. It's hard to draw multiple different types of plants I find. I never realized how difficult it would be to draw even just a little tiny leafy plant like these two. The easiest ones I found were like the little vine-esque type ones. I am so happy with this little terrarium that I drew at the top. Um, I freehanded that and I used my new Zebra Mild Liner to do the gray shading in the corner and it worked out very well. So I am very happy to have these new Mild Liners. I used those for this as well. I used them a lot in these spreads and I think it's just because they're new, but I'm going to be using them a lot more because I enjoy them very much. Coming into my next spread, which is my month at a glance, I was so surprised at how much I enjoyed this page. Um, doing this lettering and these numbers were not necessarily easy, but I'm really happy with how they did turn out. And so I just have my 1 to 31, and then each day, has a little line that draws off. These are all my work days, and then these are all the things that are happening. So I have Hannah's birthday, my dad's birthday, I have BookCon listed at the end of the month, and I will add in any doctor's appointments or any other things that come up during the month here. Right now it's all written in pencil. I probably will go over it in pen. Um, I just wanted to see how it would look in pencil and then forgot to color it in or like trace over it before I started this video. Then I have my trackers page. I did something a little different this time. Uh, I changed the layout of the three things that I'm tracking. The thing is, I get kind of tired of the same thing after like one or two months of using the same trackers, and so I try to change things up. So I changed it up a lot on this page, and I'm still tracking the three same things. So I'm tracking reading, writing, and journaling. Again, these were all done by my fine liners, my studio fine liners, as well as my new Zebra Mild liners. So yes, I did change up the layout of these over here, but I really enjoy the change. Um, this page, however, is brand new. I usually track sleep on its own page. I usually tracked my water as of last month in my weeklies, and I usually tracked my steps over on this page, but I've combined them all into one page. And so I've zoomed in a little bit to show you. I have each dot represents a different day. Every square on the dotted grid counts for two days, so like one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. And so I'm tracking the hours of sleep, bottles of water, and steps in thousands, and all of the numbers are just written here on the side. And I'll just track them the same way I tracked my sleep back here like this. And I think that will be an interesting way to see all of it represented onto one page. Then I have my mood tracker. I'm not necessarily 100% in love with this mood tracker. I think I was trying to rush it because I was tired the night that I did it. So I kind of regret doing that, but don't hate it. I'm just not in love with it. I think it could have been better, but basically, it starts up here and they kind of go everywhere. They kind of somehow like do a thing like that in terms of where the numbers are. But each little leaf down here represents the same six things that I always track. Productive, tired, anxious, happy, down, and content. They are all new colors though because they are for once not my Tombow Brights 
and they are all colors from the Zebra Mild Liner set. I don't think they have numbers, nor do I think they are written in English, so I can't tell you the colors exactly. For here, we have an online wish list. I've been meaning to make one of these for forever, and I just drew another little terrarium because I needed to fill in that space. Basically, what this page is going to do for me is to help me realize what things that I want to be buying online for myself. Over here I have a section for the item, the cost, and then where I can buy it. Most of the places that I want to buy from are like Amazon or like specific candle websites, etc. And so once I get said item, I can check it off over here. Then we are on to my weekly spreads. I've only done two of them because I got lazy and didn't feel like doing the other two and that'll give me something to do in the middle of May so that I actually have something to do instead of having them all preset for me. But they are both the same. This is from the 30th to the 6th and then this one is from the 7th to the 13th and I'm not really sure which color I like more. The only difference is that this color changed and this, these colors, the little lanterns up here didn't necessarily turn out but I am not adept enough to draw a birdhouse or anything fancy. My logic is if this note section does not get used in this spread and this spread, I might just put a little calendar down here so that I can reference which week of the month I am in because as you can see, I have these two pages marked off for weeklies. The next page here that I'm going to do, turn this into a countdown to book con page, and I'm going to be making that within the next two days so that I can start counting down from May, from May 1st to May 31st because May 31st is the day that we leave for book con. That is it for my May spreads this month, friends. Really hope you enjoyed them. I'm enjoying doing the maximalist spreads and starting them a little bit earlier in the month so that they look nice. Comment down below which one your favorite was. I personally think my favorites were either this one here, which is my month at a glance, or this tracker page here. I just think they're very aesthetically pleasing and they all have complementary colors, etc and they just make me happy because they're very organized and clean and nice. If there are any other bullet journal videos you would like me to film regarding supplies or how I do my spreads, where I find inspiration, etc., I am more than happy to do more than just plan with me videos. And if you want me to do a different style of plan with me, where I actually take the time to draw out the spreads on camera, let me know because I definitely will. That is it for this video, you guys. I will see you in my next one.